Hey guys and welcome to a new video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So today I will show you how to replace WP cron with server side cron. So uh, why would you replace WP cron with server side cron? So the first thing we need to know is what is WP cron. So WP cron is a module, a feature of WordPress which is built in into it, which handles the scheduling of automatic stuff which run in the background of WordPress or which run automatically uh, at periods of time. So the WP cron is a pseudo cron because of this it will not run automatically like real cron jobs. It will run only when website visitors land on your page and actually access your page. So they actually start the cron process and they start the automatic running of things in the background of your WordPress site. So because of this it is not actually automatic but only semi-automatic, pseudo-automatic. So because of this you might want to replace it with a real cron job which runs automatically even when people are not accessing your site. So WP cron needs to be replaced when you have a low traffic website so your site does not receive any organic or any traffic at all and because of this WP cron will not run or if your site is on the other end of the traffic spectrum, if you have a high traffic website and uh, in this case WP cron might slow down the load time of your website because it might trigger two times uh, at the same time because two uh, people might actually come at the same time and they both trigger WP cron which is not good. So in this case I also recommend you replace WP cron with a server side cron. So now let me uh, dive into this and let me show you how to replace WP cron with the server side cron. So for this I installed here two helper plugins. First is the WP cron troll and the second is a WP file manager plugin. So both are free. They can be installed from WordPress repository simply by clicking add new and write here WP cron troll or WP file manager and you will be able to install and activate them. So using WP cron troll you will be able to see the cron events that are active right now on your WordPress site. If you have issues with WP cron you will see here red exclamation marks and these dates will be in the past for you. So in this case it is highly recommended that you replace WP cron with server side cron. And also the WP file manager I will be using this to edit the WP config.php file of WordPress which you will see here. This file needs to be edited to disable WP cron. So this is the first step of replacing WP cron with, uh, with server side cron is to disable WP cron on your WordPress installation. So for this go to WP file manager and search for WP config.php file or alternatively if you have a cPanel access to your site you can use the file manager that is included in cPanel and you can access the wp-config.php file without being uh, uh, without the need of installing the wp file manager. So I recommend you use the file manager for C from cPanel because it is more um, safe as if you break something in the wp-config.php file the uh, entire WordPress site will be broken and you will be not able to edit the wp-config.php file anymore. But if you use cPanel, your cPanel will continue to work. Alternatively, if you don't have cPanel, you can also log into your WordPress site using FTP, uh, FTP connections and you can edit your files using the FTP method also, which is also more safe than directly changing the file from uh, WordPress file manager. So if your only chance is to use WP file manager, I recommend you do a backup of your WordPress site before. So now let's download the 
wp-config.php file i will be using cpanel now so now let's hit download and download and save the file locally to our uh work to our uh windows pc so i saved it to this path let's uh save this path somewhere just to re uh, remember where it is so now let's open the file up and what you will need to do to disable uh, WP, uh, cron is to copy this line so this is a small text file i wrote for this video and i will be also adding this text file in this video description so you will be also able to find it there so now let's copy this line the define disable wp cron true so i copied it now let's go back to our wp cron file which we are editing and search for this line that's all stop editing happy blogging so this is very important search for this line once you found it add the text you copied above it so let's copy this and add the text we copied above it don't uh, add it below because it will be a bad thing add it only above it so above needs to be added so disable, define disable we pick run true now let's save this file and we will be ready to upload it to our wordpress site once again so now let's hit upload select file go to the path where you stored your php file which is edited and upload it and also overwrite the <coughs> old file now if you go to the cron events here in your wordpress site you should see that the disable wp cron constant is set to true wp cron spawning is disabled so this message should appear now on your site if you did this correctly and your site also should be working if your site is not working now i recommend that you restore the backup that you created or you repair the wp config file you edited wrongly okay now let's do the next step the next step also linked in this uh, text file is replacing the uh, wp cron with server side cron so there will be three alternatives the first or not alternative if you have <coughs> a cpanel hosting you can enter this command in cpanel and you will be already done with this because this will replace the work this will be the server side cron which will be spawning your uh, website so for this go to cpanel and scroll down until you see the advanced section and click on cron jobs so you can also search for cron around here because the cron jobs might not be listed in the advanced panel but in other places so click on cron jobs and here you will be able to create a new cron job so <clears throat> select how often you wish to create your cron job so for example if you want to set it twice per hour or once per hour click this and the command should be this one so i copied this command from the description of this video and don't forget to replace the url of your website and to add it here so this in my case is wp initiate testing because i have the wordpress actually installed on the testing node so don't forget also to replace the double https if you paste it there so this is the correct way to add in my case the cron job if your wordpress is installed directly in the root of your website this will be the way you will need to add it don't forget to add uh, to add the root of your wordpress site which might be uh, wp uh, your domain slash wp admin in my case the wordpress is installed in this folder so i will need to 
actually add also this so this is the correct command and now i can click add cron job and the cron job was added successfully now i can say that i replaced wp cron with server side cron if you don't have cpanel and this is not possible for you to add this command to cpanel cron in this case we can go and check alternative methods so this is the second method using online websites which will be able to schedule cron jobs for you so in this case i can show you these two alternative websites so the first is easycron.com they both will be linked in this video description and the second one is cronjob.org so both will be able to schedule cron jobs but keep in mind these are uh, freemium websites because they offer limited free potential and uh, they will offer paid plans if you want to get more advanced features or you want to create more cron jobs so <clears throat> but basically they will do their job if you have only some basic uh, cron job creation needs so first of all i will use easycron.com and create a new cron job i clicked on the plus cron job here url to call is the url you will need to uh, run for example is this url here so the url is only the this part of your uh, command also don't forget here to replace the url of this with the real url of your website like this don't forget also to remove the double https if you paste double https stuff choose the interval every hour for example <clears throat> and uh, you are basically done you can set up your cron like this and it will run automatically and do the job for you and the final method if you don't have uh, neither uh, cpanel or don't want neither these websites to handle the cron jobs for you and you have actually a wps server or a linux terminal you can use cron tab to actually use this linux to uh, use the cron jobs it has built in and to automatically call your website so for this log into your linux and write cron tab e and this will uh, open up a text editor which will allow you to add new cron jobs so i wrote here this example cron job which will uh, run my uh, website and call cron automatically don't forget also to replace your website.com with your own website url simply hit ctrl save ctrl x to x uh, to get uh, back to the terminal and now write cron tab dash l to list cron tabs and here it is we also set up a cron tab here and it is automatically calling our website to disable it write again cron tab e and delete the line that you added this will call the website every five minutes as this command will uh, call the website every five minutes <coughs> okay now let's save this and exit and we will be able to conclude this video finally because i showed you how to disable wp cron and how to replace it with any of these alternatives so keep in mind one of these will uh, be enough if you have cpanel you can do this method if you don't have cpanel but you have access to these sites and you uh, want to use these sites to create uh, cron schedules you can do this or if you have a vps server or a linux which has access to the internet you can also do this method 
So yeah, I hope this video helped you guys and uh, if it did, if it did, please subscribe, like, share. It is really appreciated. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a nice day. Bye bye.